Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I uh, would you believe I have literally come in my craft room and put away all my Halloween stuff, got out all my Christmas stuff, set up on my table as Christmas, and then I couldn't find my new Tim Holt stamps. Two hours. Two, two hours it took me to look for them but i knew i knew where they were i knew they were in they were behind me on top of my um like magazine rack drawers like the netting metal netting drawers from ikea um not that you needed to know that little bit of information but there you go um yeah and i knew they were up there but because i couldn't find them I was like, no, I've pulled them out. I've looked behind them. I've looked under them. I've looked in every single one. And I was like, they've got to be, I have to have moved them and not realised. I have gone through all my Tim Holt stamps for about 20 times. I'm like, stop looking. They're not there. Stop looking. And I'm like, yeah, but I just might have missed them. So I'm just going to look again. But they're not there. So stop looking. And then... I there's a basket on top of the drawers where I knew the stamps were and um on top of said basket is a load of pens uh like fine liners and felt tips and um alcohol markers and stuff like that so I was like oh that's just my pen box that's fine um yeah so when I started sieving through it there they were underneath all the pens and that was me emptying out stuff into other boxes so that I can have the box that stuff's in and yeah but i have them i have my new tim Holt stamps finally found them so yeah that was a, a little bit um long-winded as to um, my intro into what i've been up to um what are we doing today i hope you're well firstly and um i hope you're all getting excited for christmas because woo, it's gonna be here really quick it will yeah blink of an eye christmas so i'm gonna get christmas crafting and um uh well it it's a mixture so it kind of is i'm gonna do some christmas bits um but yeah so i have these are you ready i have been saving them every single one of them i have loads loads and loads and loads so today i thought i'm gonna do like a trash to treasure and i'm gonna make some bits to use in the christmas build up um with these stuff so yeah let's get on it Right, so as you can see, this is um, my Amazon packaging. This is the stuff that's got the stuff inside. So it's kind of like padding. I'm not too sure um, what I'm going to do with this. I did see a video. Um, I can't remember whose it is. Ah, but I will, I'll hunt for the video and I'll link it down below. Um, I did see a video. Somebody did. Was it Bohemian Crafting? I can't remember somebody did out of this puffy stuff um um an album cover a junk journal cover and that was really cool so um yeah i think that's all that can really be used for so that is going to go on the floor just for the moment but these ones these ones are a really nice thick kind of cardstock to be honest and i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen and a, a massive aldi bag full as well just um over here on my sofa so i'm gonna cut them all apart um and yeah we're gonna make stuff out of them i don't know what yet i might make like coin pockets and like um you know like the kind of gas glassine style bags um and things like that that's what i'm gonna make out of these so yeah i'm gonna come up and then i'll be back and also what i want to show you is in some of these bags excuse the noise there is a really
really nice piece of cardboard. So I'm keeping that. So that's another hour <laughs> out of my day. Um, I have cut half of them and I have got this nice little pile. Look at all those. And then I have some larger ones as well. Um, I can't even fit it all on the screen, um, but I look how many there is. There's so many. So I'm gonna work with the smaller ones first and then, yeah, let's see what we can make out of these. Uh, look at all that paper. Oh, so much paper, love it. Right, so first off, we have a small piece here. So we are gonna use this and we are gonna make, we're gonna fold it just over halfway. And we might wanna take a little smidgen off this, which is fine because scraps are scraps. Let me straighten this up, that's it. And then we wanna fold this over like that. And then it doesn't matter that it's not straight because now we are just going to trim that end. I'm not gonna do the other end because, well, I will show you why. And I'm gonna get my art glitter glue and I'm just gonna put a line down here and a line down here. Oops, I've gone inside. And I'm just gonna fold it over. And then I have my, I think these are called um, pinking shears. I'm not too sure, but I like using them for the tops. of bags just like that I'm also gonna do the bottom I'm hardly taking any off I'm literally just going along the edge as you can see there's just some little bits I'm not taking like big strips off let's move that over to the side and then we just want to Fold up the end and again, get your bone folder. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue inside here. And then we're gonna glue this side as well you can cut it off if you want but this is just a quick and easy way and then brayer over the top or just hold it down oh i've squidged it that's okay and there you have just a cute little slot to go in your journal now what you could do is if i can oh all my paper's falling all my paper's falling right i'm sure i did everything's falling i've got my one and a half inch circle punch so i'm just gonna line it up Oh, that landed on my jumper. And there we have a little, just a little pocket. Right, so I have cut a piece, um, A4 size, and we are going to make the expandable brown paper bag. And um, I'm following Julie from um, Camellia Craft Design um, on here I'll link the video down below um, just like when uh, Julie did it I literally tried to um, find a video 
and it was if they weren't working for me and julie literally explains it um the best way i have found yet right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold it just over halfway now this is the top of the bag so i know this is straight so i'm going along with this and then i'm just going to crease with my fingers and then go in with my bone fold and really really crease and i think i'm going to turn this bit inside out just because of the different colors so again crease and then so let's do it this way and then we're just going to fold this bit over let me just take this random piece of paper off right we're just going to fold this over just overlapping this bit make sure it's straight and then right so if we do it if we put this here that's it perfect and it just needs to be doesn't need to be overlapping a lot as you can see it's just a little smidgen um so once we've you really need to crease so once we've done that i'm gonna put i'm gonna put a splodge of glue down this side and a splodge of glue down this side and then I'm going to fold over and just run my fingers down it a couple of times <coughs> excuse me right and now because I'm just using random bits of packaging I'm just going to straighten up the end and now I'm going to just line this up with my mat because I want it to be straight so I'm going to fold this to here and the same so it's even and then push it down with your fingers and then come in and crease and crease these corners really have to be let me i think i've got it a bit wonky no that's right really have to be creased and i'm going to go over and do the other side as well and now i'm going to fold it back and right in this crease don't go past it but you want it to be really really creased in this corner so and then go along the crease line and then the same with this you can put your nail there or your bone folder put it along it and just line that up with that crease and that crease there and then flatten down and then flatten all the lines because they need to be really really creased and then open that up lift that up open it back and then this i mean this is quite thick paper so i'm probably gonna have to do a little bit of fiddling around but it should just go naturally and that bit should be very right. These, this should all line up. This should all line up with the creases, if you can see. So that lines up lovely. And then just run your bone folder. And this corner needs to be really, really creased because that is the bottom of your bag. lovely lovely sharp corners look at those look oh take your finger off 
Right, and now I'm just going to fold this up just over the crease line. And then I'm just going to, again, burnish that crease right down. And this fold wants to be the same as this fold. So what Julie said to do is to open it up and then fold it down. And then just where it's creased, just kind of pinch it. I'm going to do it on both sides. Pinch it. And then... fold it over that's it and then crease those down and they should be the same right now I'm going to glue so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this triangle here and then on this one, don't glue in the middle, otherwise you'll glue your bag shut. So I'm just going to fold that over and push that down. And now I'm going to do, see there's, see that triangle there? That's the triangle that you want to glue. So just a bit of smidgen. Let's take that bit of glue off. She says don't go in the middle of the bag, so she goes in the middle of the bag. And do that side too. And then just along the top of this bag, this bit here in the middle, because that's going to be glued down on there. And then fold it over, take that bit of glue off, and hold it down for a bit so it burnishes. And then I'm just going to reinforce all these lines. Right, and now what we want to do is this, keep it like this, and this line here, this diagonal line here, we want to fold this in perfectly in there. And then make sure it's straight. And just go down with your fingers first. And then we want to do exactly the same on this side. And it should do it naturally, but you might have to just give it a little bit of persuading. And then again, line up the top of the bag so it's straight. And then crease right down. And then crease right down just like that i'm going to do the other side as well because this paper is quite thick and it should be folded just like that so you want to follow the bottom line of the bag just like that and then go into your bag open it up and it should do it if you've creased all your lines, it should naturally want to fold. You might just have to just give it a little poke in the corner. And then it should... naturally want to fold in on itself just like that ah oh, i love them i love them and i love julie's tutorial because exactly the same as what she said in her video like i followed a few um and yeah they were um they were not successful at all. So, 
Um, and then when I came across Julie's, it was just so cool. So here's some paper bags made with the packaging that I get from Amazon. And these can be used for oh, all sorts. So let's make um, something else. Let's put this... Right, let's straighten this out. If we put this line here, because that's a straight line. There we go. And then that's the top. So it, that's a natural fold. So if we do that and then just put that along the bottom... And then put this one along the top, just like that. That's been straightened out. Oh, let's move the, the rubbish. Right, so let's make a pocket. So I think we're just going to leave it like this, you know. So let me do a line of glue up there and then up there oh I've gone all sticky oh I've just pinged me pin to me Art glitter glue across the room. That's not good. Right, and now I'm going to fold it over. And then I'm going to put a little line of glue just like that, just down the crease, just there. And then I want to get my, I don't know where my tag topper is, so I'm going to use this as a template and where are my scissors here they are I'm just gonna snip off that side and then Side. and there we have a double pocket double tag pocket so let's see what else we can make I want to use this for something but I don't know what. Right, so we have this piece. So we're going to fold it that way. And then we're going to straighten it out. And this doesn't have to be done with... Um, Just packaging, you can do this with scrapbook paper. You can do this with any kinds of scraps that you've got. But I just thought that I had so, I've been saving them all. I had so many of these bags. Right, I don't want that one. I don't want it going right to the middle. Yeah, I had so many of these bags 
and I just thought I need to do something with them because throwing them away um, was just a no-no. was definitely a no-no. Right, so I don't want that straight to the edge either, but that end isn't straight, so I just want to trim that up and straighten that edge up. And now, right, I'm not going to glue it down, but what I do want to do so I'm going to use the tag again as a template. And then I'm just going to Bring that up to the top. As a template, get rid of those corners. And then we have a little booklet. then opens up now what I'm gonna do is I have this strip so I want to measure I need that little bit off. And then again, fold it in half. I'm gonna get my trimmer, because I don't quite want it this wide and it's wonky anyway. So I think I'm gonna do it at two inches. Yep, two inches. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue it on first because if it's on, it will be easier to match the fold so I'm just going down one edge and oh, get off. I'm just going to line this up that's it and then I'm going to cut off any excess. And we've got a little bit here. And a little bit there. So then we just want to glue... The rest, oh, smidgen too much there. Hold that down for a second, go around the other side. And glue that edge on. And then it's already folded in the court in the middle so just give that another 
burnish just because that it's new and then find the other crease line line it up and then do the same with this side just line it up and there we have another little folio now what you could do on there is put the rings and just go duh, 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 duh. but you've got pocket all the way along so you could put something in the middle just like that or you couldn't really because yeah it folds in half so and there's there's another little pocket for you that's five should we make let's make one more um what else could we do Dup, 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 dup. let's make let's make a coin pocket shall we so i'm gonna fold this and then the same as with the others fold it over just just a little bit and then we're going to take the trimmer and just straighten the edges. I think we're going to take quite a bit off that end. Uh, and now, I'm not going to glue just yet, actually. What have I got on the inside? Nothing. Right, now I'm just going to fold the bottom about half an inch and I'm going to go along and then Fold the top about three quarters of an inch, just lining it up. And then we're going to open it up and we don't want it to be too thick. So we're going to cut off this part here. And then I'm going to go at a bit of an angle. I don't do it on that one, but just trim off at a bit of an angle and then cut along there. Oh, gone a bit too far, but that's fine. Right, and now I'm going to go at a bit of an angle. And take off that section and again on that side perfect keep your scraps right and now I'm gonna fold this over and I like this little little jaggedy edge so I'm gonna put a line of glue down this edge and a line of glue down this edge and just put them together give them a little smoosh this is quite a wide one and now I'm going to put some glue on this end bit and I'm going to fold it up Just gonna take a little smidgen off of there and then we have a top but I want to round the corners so I'm 
Mm, I don't think I can round the corners because, oh, I can a little bit. Yeah, I should have. Yeah, I should have just done it. Instead of just cutting it at a slant, I should have just rounded the corners. Right, so there's a little bit. That's it, just a little slither there that I want to take off. And there you have your little coin pocket. And you can put one of those fasteners on there as well. And that is five, six makes from packaging. Oh, I love them. I love them. So you have your little sort of grocery bag here, which is perfect pocket. Um, this could fit in there just like that. Um, and then you have your expanding bags as well, which are just, oh, I love them. And here's another one. So perfect. Have your coin pocket, a little tag folder, and then another little tag flip out as well. And I would say these were all made with half only half of one of the prime bags so i'm literally i'm i'm just going to get making because i am just i'm going to stock myself up on bags and tags and things just literally to put in my journals everything all made up how cool is that so yeah definitely Keep your packaging, especially your brown paper bags, um, because we seem to be getting brown paper bags. I know um, in America you you use brown paper bags for your grocery and your pack lunches and stuff like that. Um, but we've always used plastic. But now, thankfully, um, we're getting rid of the plastic and we're now using paper bags, which is brilliant. So even more so, even though the paper's recycling, um, I don't like throwing it away because it is paper. And this is a really good thick paper as well so yeah they make brilliant paper bags so i hope you give this a go if you do don't forget to tag me on social media i'd love to see what you make um i am going to do another video where i am making stuff with these so yeah come back for that as well that is going to be the christmas part of the video um so yeah today was the making and then we're going to do the christmas part also um I made this folio um, and it was it was sort of the last day or well around the last day of Halloween and um, oh, I just absolutely love it really love it and I'm thinking now because Halloween is over shall I do this Christmas so yeah leave a comment down below if you want to see me finish this decorate it and fill it full of goodies um as a christmas journal instead of a halloween one comment down below because yeah that would be really cool so oh also uh, this paper would make really good matchboxes as well because yeah i think it's sturdy enough to hold as well um i'll try that i will try that and um, I will let you know how good it holds. So thank you all for being here. I hope you've had an amazing weekend and you're chilling on Sunday. Um, I'm going to turn the camera off now and I'm going to keep making paper bags because, well, I have so <laughs> I have so much brown paper. So why not? And I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you all so much, everybody. Get crafty. Bye.